knew Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. Into the locker. And you just now decided to share that with us? Right? <laughs> After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all Do you really think like Byakuya tonight? Oh my god. No, I hate it. Don't make me agree with him. Stop it. Can someone tighten the screws on his brain. I think they've come loose. Stop <laughs> saying things I agree with. It's not okay. <laughs> What the bottles all had in common, it should become clear. The correlation between the Monokuma bottles, I feel it's starting to become clear. Starting. The connection must be. Chess. Peace? Oh, peace. E, E, please. Damn it. Now I understand. Now I understand. I've got it. That's it. The chest pieces. Inside each bottle, there was a Monokuma figure holding a different chess piece. King, Rook, Bishop, Pawn. I definitely remember seeing each of those. And the piece that was inside the broken bottle we found was... <laughs> Time to get serious! The knife, if I remember. So, what's that in the matter? I guess you don't know too much about chess, do you? Then let me explain. In chess, there are six different pieces. The king... The queen, the rook, knight, bishop, and pawn. What was left intact at the crime scene were the king, rook, bishop, and pawn. Just those four. And on the ground was the knight. Oh, so the queen is missing. Atta so girl. We only have evidence for five bottles at the scene. Well, one apparently went missing. What does chess have to do with anything? Oh my god. Yeah, Shogi is way better. Not the point, Hero. Wait, no, that's not what I mean. So, <laughs> let's say a bottle did go missing. There's still no evidence that has anything to do with this case. That bottle could have disappeared any time before the murder. No, it's clear that the missing bottle <clears throat> is connected to this case. How is it clear? Think about what state the missing bottle must have been in. Maybe then you'll understand. And the ball was missing. Ah, oh, it was completely broken. I got it. The bottle must have been broken. What makes you so sure? Because there was evidence of the scene that supports it. Huh? That's right. We found evidence that shows there was more than just one broken bottle at the scene. And what is this evidence? It wasn't just a single broken bottle, and the evidence that proves it is the fact that one broken bottle weighs more than one broken than one complete bottle. I got it. Earlier, Kyoko and I did a little experiment. We compared the weight of the broken bottle pieces at the scene to one of the unbroken bottles. And what we found was that the collection of pieces was heavier. And the reason for that is... We had a bad scale. There was actually more than one bottle's worth of shattered glass. Uh, or that. So from this, we can surmise that two bottles were actually broken at the scene of the crime. But someone did their best to clean up the pieces of one of the bottles, along with the figure inside. But when they did, they must have left behind a few too many pieces. Which is only natural. They certainly had no way to measure the exact right number of pieces to remove. But why would they have to try and get rid of it like that anyway? Because of what it would reveal about the case. 
There'd be no doubt that the second missing Monokuma bottle is involved in this case. It must have been used by some bowling aficionados! Oh, it took away a second for it to sink in. Given all the evidence, this is the only possible conclusion. The killer wanted to make it look like there was only one attack, so they had to get rid of their evidence. From there, we can conclude that it wasn't Hero who delivered that second blow. Wouldn't you agree, Toko? And there's the matter of the magazine. You must have been in the rec room when the incident took place. Wait! I admit, maybe there was a second attack, but, but there's no evidence I had anything to do with it. No way! You killed her! I'm sure of it! Hero, shut up. Shut up! <laughs> Until two seconds ago, you were claiming you killed her! I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong. That's just the kind of guy I am. Plus, I just remembered something that proves it. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. It was right after I got Ogre's note. I was kind of nervous about it, so I went to the rec room early. You know, to stake it out or whatever. So I was waiting there, and that's when I saw her. I saw Toko go into the rec room. What? Why would you not bring that up until... You did? Pretty soon, Ogre showed up, and she went into <laughs> That's an excellent... Why? I assumed Toko was still in there, so I figured everything would be okay. That's why I headed in. But when I got inside, Ogre was all alone. Toko had disappeared. Into the lock. And you just now decided to share that with us? Right! <laughs> After the shock of thinking I'd killed someone, I forgot all Do you really think like Byakuya tonight? Oh my god. No, I hate it. Don't make me agree with him. Stop it. Can someone tighten the screws on his brain. I think they've come loose. Stop <laughs> saying things I agree with. It's not okay. <laughs> so, Toko, where the heck did you disappear to? You don't know what you're talking about. I never went in the rec room. I'm sure she didn't disappear. But maybe she found somewhere to hide. <laughs> Under the di table the desk. Room? Don't be ridiculous. Ooh, why are you all ganging up on me? You're all nothing but vermin. No, it's not ridiculous at all. There's definitely proof that shows Toko was hiding in the rec room. A new element has. No! I don't need more bullshit control, please! <laughs> <laughs> oh. So far, you've probably been pressing the Y button during your final stroke without a second thought. What? Oh, bullet time battle. Is that the DDR thing? Oh, God. But from now on, we're going to have to pay a little extra attention to your finishing. <laughs> no. Now you have to choose the proper. No. Oh, it's like the same way you do during the non-stop debate. Simply press the LB button. Also, like the debate. If your logic difficulty is set to kind, you'll have fewer bullets to choose from. But for educational purposes, we're going to pretend you're set to mean regardless. Just this once, okay? Oh, by the way, you're about halfway through the game now. Fuck you. <laughs> no. Wow. You really just up and said that? <laughs> no. Narrator, what are you doing? There's nobody left. How could we only be halfway through? <laughs> and I'm still learning new material? Well, then good luck and have fun. Maybe they mean halfway through the the, to the, the trial? It's a lie! I admit nothing! I hate you! I curse you! No, no, no! This is enough! I admit nothing! I curse you! I curse you! Oh shit. Final strike. Quest person. This should prove it. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. 
Do you know someone left a handprint behind on the inside of the locker? They must have been hiding in there and put their hand on the wall without thinking. Does this handprint look familiar, Toko? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it looks like it was someone with five fingers. Okay, then. Let's just compare it to your hand, shall we? That'll clear everything up. How, how, are we gonna how would we do that? Right? <laughs> my time just tell us the truth okay. yes my master hand. yep <laughs> I knew it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh okay it's my hand friend all right, kids, it's time to get back into the classroom. <laughs> get back in the classroom, you twerps! Okay! Okay! It's also just like, um, I don't know, nobody, maybe nobody in here may have seen it at Fruit, Fruits Basket, Yuki's older brother, <laughs> when he causes trouble, and then the one guy's like, come on, let's go. Okay! Nope. <laughs> it's so good. She just straight up admitted it. So did you earlier. Then you can You dumbass. That. No, I swear there's no way. Out with it. I probably did kill her. <laughs> <laughs> narrator the narrator earlier yeah of course i did i, I heard <laughs> it I, I registered it i bypassed it and like wait a minute straight up again wait what do you mean probably give us the details token oh god what happened between you that's and too Toko? funny yeah i probably killed it Talk. now after i read sakura's note i decided to go there early so i went into the rec room I didn't know what she might do if I didn't even go, but I was too scared to face her head on. So I figured I'd just sneak in first and hide in the locker. And then, did you see what happened? Did you see me hit her? Yes, and I saw you write my name. I saw you forge her dying message. Surprised you didn't faint when you saw the blood. Well, that's awkward. So after you left, I jumped out of the locker and put the magazine back on the shelf. But when you did, you put it back upside down. I didn't mean to. I was in a hurry. Imbeciles, all of you. Forget all that. Why did you attack Sakura? After I put the magazine back, I heard a sound behind me like a, like a monster growling. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, so she just fucking grabs a bottle and swings. Turned around. There was Sakura covered in blood and staring right at me. Oh, okay, that would probably be pretty fucking terrifying. I fainted right there in front of the magazines. Oh. I don't remember what happened after that. If you want to know more, you'll have to ask. Yes! Bring on Jill! Oh, Let's no. do this! Do it! Give her, her some pepper! You mean... Oh, she, yes! she can just sneeze on Oh there. wait, but she's... She's what? Voice acted. Yeah. I know. But it's great. I love Jill. My fault. Master's fault. When our faults combine, they soar to even greater heights! <laughs> Answer the question. Did you kill Sakura? Well, to be honest, Miss Morose and me don't actually share our memories. <laughs> really? Miss really Morose. Going on. But I Interesting. I my own business, sleeping peacefully when someone shook me awake. Was it a prince paying me a visit? I wonder. <laughs> so I opened my eyes to see. Oh, oh I love her. Flatter everywhere! I was not prepared for that. And, well... I guess it took me by surprise. I got so startled, I smacked her with the first thing I could find, which I guess was a bottle. Sakura was just worried about you, and you... You're terrible! No, she's terrible! Thanks to her, I murdered someone who wasn't an adorable boy for the first time ever! 
And when it was all ah! over, you collected the pieces of the bottle to get rid of the evidence, didn't you? I wasn't about to die for some woman! If I'm gonna go down, I want it to be for killing Master! <laughs> I want her around until the deed is done. Just go away. <laughs> meaningless death alone. Don't drag me into it. Please drag him into but it. I just can't catch a break, you know? Fate's got it out for me. Because normally, Sakura should have been able to dodge my attack, no problem. Even as strong as she is, she must have still been reeling from Hero's attack. Hey, come on. That's, you know. Alternatively, you, 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 she let herself You hit him. Hit. But anyway. I'm not the one that killed Oprah. But that would still count as still being the the yeah yeah the blackened. So that's good. Keep talking like that, and Hina's so gonna. Then, that's that. Let's start the boat. Huh? I thought for sure you'd have some words for Hero on that one. What's wrong? Come on, everyone, we're ready to vote, right? Let's do this. No. No, Fridge, you but... can't be right. No. Not quite yet. Every time someone pushes to vote immediately, they wind up being the murderer. Huh? Not yet? Why not yet? Don't you think Fridge is something oh, Fridge, where are you? Story? I mean, you had to have noticed. Odd. Huh? Hero's attack, and then Toko's, but that still wasn't the end of it. Fridge, are you here? He is muted! One sec, well. I have been here the whole time and I cannot hear myself. Can you, you hear me now? You muted. Yes. I don't know how. I did not push the button. Have you, oh, we, we were talking nope. this whole time. We didn't hear you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All good. All good. Can't... Togo killed Fridge. <laughs> Togo killed Fridge. <laughs> it wasn't? Tell us your story one more time. Tell us what happened after you fainted. Then even this gaggle of idiots should understand what I'm talking about. Do you wish my command, darling? <laughs> <laughs> it's not oh, over yet, man. is it? The one who I mean, if you... is. Yeah? They would be quite the power couple. <laughs> the silly power psycho couple. <laughs> now I like Makoto and fucking... Jill, oh, just because he'd be dumb enough to not notice what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I was just sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me. I remember waking up right in front of the magazine shelf. You were taken by surprise when you saw Ogre covered in blood. So you smashed her head in with a Monokuma bottle? You got it! I smashed her good! And where did the attack take place? Right where I woke up! The magazine ah. rack. Yes. Um. She she was sitting in the chair when she died, so she couldn't have been she couldn't have been killed in front of the magazine rack. Okay. I was just sleeping peacefully, and all of a sudden, Sakura was right there in front of me. Damn it! I don't know which one to use. Monokuma file number four or the status of her body. State of status for body. Probably status. Yeah. Sakura sitting upright in a chair. If the blow by the shelf was the cause of death, there's no explanation why she was in that chair. So, you finally noticed. It also doesn't explain how the door was locked from the inside. I'm. That's just another lie from a bloodthirsty serial killer. No, Owie, please stop talking. You, you can't. No. She was sitting in the chair. <laughs> Owie, please stop talking. Please. <laughs> I really like she's so sweet. She's so dumb, but she's so sweet. She can't be the killer. I'm gonna I will I will I will cry if she is the killer. No. Oh no. We, we can't let those boobs go. 
It's not the that too. It's her. It's who she is. She's so nice. Yeah, that's why you went went run into the pool when she was there. Uh huh. Because <laughs> she's so nice. Oh, shut up. <laughs> we went for the plot. We went for the plot. I heard. I heard. A, I heard a thing. What was the thing? It was like a freak. Sadness. I heard a blink. I don't know what it was. Hang on, let me check my. You are. Your time is running. Oh, is it? Okay. All right. Um. Okay. The evidence proves that there was an attack in front of the magazine shelf. Uh, the blood. I got it. Sakura was definitely attacked in front of the shelf. The blood stain by the magazines is proof of that. And she must have moved the body after she killed her, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Toko's gonna carry her. Sure. Like I did it. Cause when I hit her, she was sitting in the chair. Hey, come on, I mean, to be fair, head wounds can take some time to kick in. I mean, that's not quite true, Joe, because you were able to hang people up. Yeah. And impale those scissors through concrete. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then what's the deal? Well, are you still convinced the case has come to an end? Plus, the biggest mystery of all, the locked room, still has yet to be explained. Until we take care of that, we can't say this case has been properly settled. Oh, that part's easy. After she killed Sakura, Toko just hid in the locker again. No. Oh. So she just God damn it, Owie. opened the door? No. While everything was all confused and hectic. She just snuck out of the locker into the group. No. I don't think that's possible. The locker was open. Yep. The locker was too small. I was in the locker. We open the door to the rec room. I had no idea they'd be there. And at that point, the locker was already open. So obviously Toko couldn't have been hiding in there. Okay then. Where was she hiding? In her room at that point, probably. What's this whole locked room thing about anyway? How did you not know? You killed her! But she didn't lock the room, because she couldn't do I that. The fact that I don't know proves I didn't kill her, thank you very much. You're lying! No, she's not. I've been saying all along, there's still more to this case. But if Genocide Jill didn't do it, that means Ogre <sighs> didn't die from the shot to the head. Or the second shot to the head. Well, well... I can't imagine what else could have killed her. That's because you're overlooking vital innocence. Maybe she is innocent. She just doesn't realize it. God, I hope she's innocent. Could we really be missing something so important? There's another possible explanation. Maybe it's... The fact that, you know... I'm there's... hoping you're right, Casual. <laughs> I hope you're right. Oh, you and me both. Yellow powder. Okay. Uh, the monotoma file said she was before. That just explains that. If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? There's no other possible cause. Well. That killed Sakura. I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. So you're dead set on blaming me, huh? Okay, dead shot to the top, shot to the head. What was it that killed her? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack... I think it really is this. Like, it, it doesn't explain the the, 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 the barking. Mm. You notice the little boxes to the right, right? It tells you what panel you're on? Little box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. According to the Monokuma file, Sakura had vomited blood. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottle, she cut the inside of her mouth. From the back of the head. Sure, Owie. If that's I bite my tongue eating salad, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I can't I argue with that. Any cuts inside her mouth. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, Sakura was poisoned. Poisoned? 
That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. Go f yourself. <laughs> You're making me go all weak in the knees. She was poisoned? It isn't possible. Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. You can explain it? Of course, if you don't mind. Everyone, quiet! Shut up and listen to Master! Jesus. But you're the only one talking. The key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Huh? Not in the rec room? And I could have found it all along! You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well, yeah, good point. There's a big building <laughs> unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. Including Nesquik. And that's where I found Hashtag not sponsored. this. Is that... the poison? It's not an especially Hashtag screen Nestle. poison, yeah. but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is an entire where bottle. Where'd you find it? The shelf is divided up into three sections A, B, and, and F. C. In section A, dietary supplements, in B, reagents, and in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Vital poison exactly just showed us. I'm sure I know where he got it. Section A! Because there was a bottle in Section poison A. Poison was actually in Section A, wasn't it? <sighs> you just said that Section A was for supplements or whatever. Strange, isn't it? Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Yeah, so? Why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. Wh what do you mean? I mean... This. Whoa!